In this video, we're going to be covering the heart rate and VO2 reserve quiz. So this is a precursor quiz to some uh, what would be the uh, calculations practice quiz for the exam. However, this will give you a pretty good background uh, in seeing these types of problems and being able to apply them. They do require careful reading. I, I will stress that and knowing when to make assumptions, things like that cover those in just a second, but it's going to be very similar to our previous ones where you get unlimited attempts. It, it records and saves your best one, so uh, make sure you get you know the, your best score you, that you can. Uh, so you will have a little bit of time to work on this, a couple, few days at least. Um, and this is going to be based on the heart rate and VO2 reserve for the exercise prescription PowerPoint. Let me pull that up here. So on here, this is slide 13. It should be about slide 13 for you as well. But we will have gone over this before this assignment is posted in class. So we got all these methods, the heart rate reserve method, VO2 reserve method, the heart rate method, VO2 method, and the MET method. You can see how these are different, pretty much, where heart rate reserve, VO2 reserve, what you are doing is subtracting out the rest for heart rate and VO2 respectively, and multiplying by the intensity and then adding back in that rest for whichever one is appropriate. What these reserve methods are doing is taking what your VO2 can go between or what your heart rate can go between beats per minute or mils per kg wise, and we're using that, that range essentially to that range of potential change to look at and calculate your desired intensity. Some things can, some bad things can sort of ensue if we use like the heart rate method, target heart rate method with a low um, desired intensity. If the intensity is too low, you can actually get heart rates below what your resting is, and that you know just doesn't make any sense. So, especially for those, we would use the reserve method. I will stress. On, the res on this quiz that there are times you'll have to make assumptions about certain things such as heart rate max. Heart rate max may not be given and what do we do in that case? Well we make an assumption about what someone's heart rate max is. Easiest one to remember is the 220 minus that person's age. So if the person is 20 years old, 220, is 220 minus 20 years old, that's 200 beats per minute. That's their estimated max heart rate. We don't make assumptions about heart rate rest though. That must always be given if it's a reserve type question. And then VO2 reserve. We do not make assumptions about VO2 max. Not based on age or anything like that. We just, it's either measured, it's estimated from a submaximal test, or we don't use it at all. However, we do use a estimated VO2 rest for everybody. That's that 3.5 mils per kg per minute, or one met. So if we know, if, if that is not given, if their VO2 rest is not given, that is the assumption that you make if it's a reserve type question. So make sure you pay attention to those small, small little details uh, as you're going through this. And as before with all the other quizzes, this sort of stuff, uh, th this is going to be keeping your highest score. And you get plenty of attempts to make it, you know, get the best score. Um, and this will be, again, a precursor to some of those calculation-based questions that you will see on the exam and practice for the exam. But th this is open past the due date, but I strongly suggest you finish it by the due date and have a good handle on it because there will be another one it's going to be posted here so soon after it's actually due or, or it opens basically when this one is due or the day this one is due so if you have any questions please feel free to contact me via email or uh, come to me come to my office hours or talk to me at the beginning or end of class and I'll see you in the next video.